And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. Just Joel here from Atlanta Knife. And today I got another five minute review. This time it's of the QSP Otter. So four options on this guy. So there is of course the copper foil and the aluminum foil. Yeah, you heard right, aluminum foil. And you can get it in either the satin finish, which is this one, or you can get it in the black like a, I don't want to say stone wash, but it's kind of a stone wash finish, so we'll go with that. I am probably going to be more partial to the satin with the copper. I just think it looks classier. Reminds me a lot of the Ferrum Forge Stinger. There's a new model that has a similar type of copper look to it. I think that one might have been titanium with like a carbon fiber copper inlay, I think. So kind of similar. So this knife is 6.5 inches overall with a 3.8 inch S35VN blade. So a little higher end for QSP. Does have the jimping, thank goodness. I love jimping. Every knife should have jimping in my opinion. Handles as I mentioned are black carbon fiber with the either copper foil or the aluminum foil. They are liner locks. Usually QSP is like a big frame lock, but they do liner locks too. I think a few of the penguins are liner locks. Not the titanium ones. I think the titanium ones are frame locks. So They got jimped flipper tabs for deployment. Look at that. That was... It snaps. Just snaps. And of course, it's got a tip-up pocket clip, which will match the finish of the blade. So this one's got the black tip-up pocket clip and hardware and barrel spacers because the blade has the black uh, stone wash type finish. And then this one, you know, vice versa, it's got the satin finish, hardware barrel spacers, liners, and tip up pot clip. I think it might be ambidextrous. I believe you can take it off and flip it over because of the straight design. Don't quote me because I don't know for sure. I never try to flip it around. But it does have a lanyard hole though, so. You can carry it however you want with the lanyard hole. 2.7 inch blade guys. It's about 3.00. Just 3 millimeters. Plain edge. Flat grind. I really think this is probably one of QSP's smaller designs. 6.5 inches is a bit small for me. I just like an extra inch or so on my knife. But it does, it will fit in the pocket really well. So, and C didn't seem to have a problem with it. So, maybe it just depends on taste. Which, you know, most of the stuff does. It just, just depends on what you like personally. Only weighs 2.6 ounces. Comes with the box, of course. It's not anything super special. It's just, you know, a box and slides out like that. And you get the uh, stickers here. Because QSP is big on stickers. Camera Girl loves the stickers. She steals them. Not out of this one, of course. Or any ones you'll receive. So. And you get the little QSP uh, certificate, you know. This is QSP. Da -da 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 -da. Overall, I have to say this is a pretty good liner lock from QSP. I don't like that they broke the uh, the bird name chain they had going because they went with Otter. If you don't know QSP, pretty much every single one of their knives is named after a bird. So, a little disappointed they broke it, but you know. I really like the copper uh, carbon fiber foil scales on this knife. I would never ever take them off, to be honest. And I don't even know. They might even tarnish. I, I'm i not sure. Maybe because they're foiled, they won't. But it would be interesting, you know, to take this knife and, you know, use it for a couple of, you know, weeks and see what it looks like afterwards if the copper tarnishes. I feel like it's not going to, but it could. If any, of you get, if any of you guys go and get this, just let me know. I'd be really interested to see. Okay, so I am Just Jewel. What in life? This was the QSP Otter. And I am signing off.